Hi, I'm Patty Bunch for Jeannie, and I'm preparing for the Oscars coming up. But the reason why we're talking today is, you know, in every event is an Oscar event. I don't care where you go. It's a party or a wedding. Mm -hmm. It's a red carpet. It's an event where you are coming out and you want to look beautiful. So I'm going to give you some of the tips that I use when I'm preparing for the Oscars. I'm going to talk now about color. Make Me Blush, which is the perfect undertone. The Sunset Blush, which is my favorite. It's the evening. And then the, the Cashmere Powder, which you really want to look really soft. And you don't want to be too shiny. Not too dull, not too shiny. Especially for the red carpet for my actors, I really highly recommend and everyone goes home or goes to the red carpet with cashmere powder because it doesn't look cakey or dry. Undertone. Let's start there. Perfect undertone color. And one trick that I learned from an actor is this area right here is your throat. And a lot of people don't want, they don't think even think about making that up. Again, you go from the top of your head down into your bust line with the Genie and Sin Line Smoother and with the foundation because you have to continue with the color. And that's a mistake that most people make when they're making themselves up for any event, even going to work or even going to the market. Um, their, their makeup stops here. No, it doesn't. You, that does not where your skin starts and stops is at your chin. So take your Make Me blush and take it down the neck and it gets rid of this area right here and if you have a sagging neck it really diminishes the appearance of that it takes it down and takes the focus someplace else so a perfect undertone starting with after your foundation is the genie make me blush and if you lack color and you have dull skin or you've been ill or, or you just don't have the health in your skin that you would like, then add a little, at this point in time, a little Make Me Blush. You can put it on before your foundation or you can put it on after foundation. But always just use that as an undertone when you're doing your big full red carpet event. You can also use it on your lips, cheeks, and eyes as color, which I do very often when I'm in a hurry or if I want just a real natural look. But this is why the Make Me Blush is one of my favorite Genie products. So I always put it on my cheeks, especially in the summertime, as bronzer. And then I just kind of dust it all over just to give myself some color. Because there's, I, everyone wants color. And going in the sun nowadays to add that color is just not right. Cashmere powder makes you look velvety. It works perfect with all your Genie products or just alone. You can use it as a foundation. What I tell my actors when they go down the red carpet, I want you to look healthy. I want you to have a beautiful glow, which is where I get the Make Me Blush but I don't want you to be shiny. Shiny is not good. Shiny looks too greasy. It looks unhealthy to me. And I, I know you've seen it on the red carpet when you're watching the shows or when you're going on stage with those harsh lightings overhead, that shine just reflects white. It doesn't look good. I want them to stay velvety looking. It's about the whole picture. So I use, I, very importantly, I put on my cashmere powder and I put it all over my face and I apply my Genie powder all day because it doesn't cake up. Other powders you will see and you'll see that cakey buildup. You never see it with the Genie Cashmere powder because it just blends right into your own skin. It's absolutely perfect powder.